Welcome to Faith Root Bible Holiness Synagogue Church and Parish. Welcome. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet in Jamaica. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you. Thank you, Father, for all things. Thank you, Father. We're going to learn to desire you in a deeper manner. And as the mediator, the savior, the the uh, the breath of life that we need every day, Yeshua, Hamashiach, El Shaddai, as well. That brings us to you, the will of God that brings us to your ways, Father God. Amen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's sermon is called, Who Do We Desire? Who do we desire? Who do we desire? Because what you desire is what you're going to get. If you desire good things of the kingdom of God and good things for your brothers and sisters on this earth, then the, the desire will bring those things. But if your desire is for bad things, evil and hurtful and war, and liking the wars and, and all this evil and liking people that are not good, those desires will bring you those things. So desires are another form of seeds that are planted that produce something. But we must desire foremost to be pleasing to the Father, just like it says. Through the mediator, the Spirit of God of life, the Messiah, Yeshua, we will. Amen. By faith and not by sight. Grab a hold of Yeshua's faith. Don't grab a hold of your faith that has hardly anything in it, but the faith that is given through the Spirit of life is the faith that he wants us to have. The will be the faith that will do great things for our fellow brothers and sisters in our own selves, amen, on this earth. So let's go to Psalms, to Helam, 119, 17 through 24. 17 through 24 of 119 of Psalms, amen, that's where we're heading. All righty, and it says, deal generously with your servant, and I will live and obey your word. Open my mouth, open my open my eyes, so that I will see the wonders of your Torah. Torah, good teachings of God, and later uh, uh, means the law. Through I am just and wandering on the earth. Don't hide your mitzvah, holy ruins, from me. I am continually. Consumed with the longing for your ruins. Do you, do you are you continuously consumed with the longing of his ruins for your heart and your mind? I hope so, because you're supposed to. It says it. Remove scorn and contempt from me, because I observed your in instructions. Even when the prince sit and plot against me, our, in our day we don't call prince, we call them politicians. Even when the politicians sit and plot against me, your servants meditate on your laws, on the laws of God. Also, your instructions are my delight. They are my counselors. Who's the counselors? The instructions of the Father God is our counsel. You, the counsel is through the Torah and the prophets. And the epistles of Paul, they are the counsel that you need. That's the counseling you get it through the Torah, the prophets, and the epistles of Paul. Amen. So let's go on now to Psalms. Another Psalms, Tehillim. 143, 5 through 12. 5 through 12 of 143 of Psalms. Amen. I remember the day of old, reflected all, on all the deeds, thinking about the work of your hands. The hands of, of Yah, that's Yeshua, the hand, right hand of God. I spread out my hands on you. I long for you like a thirsty lamb. Answer me quickly, Yah. 
because my spirit, little s, is fading. Don't hide your face from me, or I'll be like those who drop down in the pit. Make, make me hear of your love in the morning, because I re rely on it. Make me know the way I should walk, because I entrust myself in you. Yahweh, rescue me from my enemies, and I hid myself with you. Teach me to do your will. Teach me to do what? The will. Yeshua. The will. Teach me to do your will. Because you are my God. Emmanuel. Let your good spirit, that's Yeshua, guide me on the grounds that is leveled. For your sake, namesake, Yah, pr preserve my life in righteousness, a right walk with you. Bring me out of distress in your grace of great favor. Cut off my enemies. Destroy all those harassing me because I am your servant. Amen. Because we are in service to the King of glory of heaven. And we have the will leading us, instructing us in the in, to learn the ways of God. Amen. And so we desire, you got to desire this. If you don't desire, you won't get it. Whatever you desire, you're, gonna, you're going towards. A lot of people don't understand the power of desire. you got to understand it by your heart. Let's go to Job, Iver, Job, chapter 5, 17 through 27, 17 through 27 of 5 of Job, of Iver. It sounds better in Hebrew than English of, of what it translates to. Amen. We're getting there. Okay. Okay. One more critter. There we are. And it says, How happy is a person who Yah corrects, the Father Yah corrects. So don't despise Shaddai's discipline. And you know, Shaddai is the Old Testament name for the New Testament, Yeshua. It is. For he wounds, but he bandages our sores. His hands may strike, but they also will heal. He will rescue you from six diseases. And yes, on the seventh one, no harm will touch you. In famine, he will save you from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, you will be shielded from the lashes of their tongues. And you won't have to fear destruction when it comes. You'll be able to laugh at destruction and famine. And also you won't have to fear wild animals. For you will be in a league with the, with the stones in the field. And with the wild animals will be at peace with you. You will know that the tents of safety. You will look around your home and miss nothing. You will know that you are, are descendants of my many, and your offerings like grass grown uh, thick in the fields. You will come to the grave of rightful old age, like the piles of grain that arrive in the season, and you will look into these things, and, and that is how it is. Listen, and know that it is for your own good. Amen. So if you fall and your desires are to follow God's ways, then all these things are yours. But if your desires are to follow things of foolishness and, and death and destruction, well, you'll get 
to that very thing. Because you're not following God's desires for your life. You gotta follow God's desires. You gotta desire good. Because if you desire evil, you're gonna get exactly what you're gonna get is hell at the end. Because evil desires bring wickedness, and wickedness brings death, and the destruction, all that is left is hell for those that want those type things. Let's go back to Psalms. Tehillim 37 now, 1 through 40. 1 through 40 of 37 of Psalms. Hallelujah. And it says, don't be upset by evildoers or envious of those who do wrong. For soon they will be withering like grass, but soon they will be whittling like grass. They will fade like green in the field. Trust in Yah with, and do good. Settle in the land, build on the faithfulness. And then you will delight yourself in Yah. And he will delight your heart's desires. And then he will give you your heart's desires. When you are not upset with what these clowns are doing on the tough that are wicked. When you settle in the land. When you do feed on God's goodness. And you do good with one another. Then it, then it says he will give you your heart's desire. Commit your ways to Yah. Trust in Him. Afterthought of Yah is Yeshua El Shaddai. On trust in El Shaddai Yeshua. Amen. He will act. Will act. He will make your vindication shine forth like light. The justice of your case like the noonday sun. S U N. Be still before Yah. Wait patiently until he comes. Don't be upset by those who, whose ways succeed because of their wicked plans. Stop being angry. Put away, away rage. Don't be upset. It leads to evil. For the evildoers will be cut off. But those hoping in Yah will inherit the land. Soon the wicked will be no more. You will look for the place, and they will not be there. But the meek will inherit the land. What does it say here? But the meek will inherit the land. When you inherit something, don't you have a little say, big say over it for others? Yes. But the meek will inherit the land. They delight themselves in abundance of peace. Remember that. The wicked plot against the righteous, the right doing, the right doing people, righteousness, and grit their teeth on him or her. But Yah laughs at the wicked. But Yah laughs at the wicked politicians. Amen. No, this day will come. The wicked politicians have unsheathed their swords and they have struck their bows. Bringing down the poor and needy. Sounds familiar these days, doesn't it? So, struggling those who ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts. And their bows there will be broken. Better a little righteous. A little right standing. Has then the wealth of the wicked. For the arm of the wicked will be broken. For the arm of the wicked will be broken. And you can think of arm as political parties. The, the, the political parties will, of the wicked will be broken. Let's bring it down to real good English, shall we? But Yah upholds the righteous, the right standing, the right relationship with each other. And the, and the old uh, ancient version of that is... The wisdom, right wisdom of the spirit. Yah knows that the, the whole heart suffers. 
but their inheritance lasts forever. Even though our hearts suffer a little bit, our inheritance lasts forever with God. They will, they will not be distressed when times get hard. Amen. This is important to understand right here. Let's read that again in 19. They will not be distressed when times get hard. And when the famine comes, they will have plenty. Remember. Remember that. For the wicked will perish. If you want to be wicked, you're going to perish. That's a continuous theme that you'll find in the word of God. You're wicked, you're going to perish eventually. Yes, enemies will be like sheep fatted and ending up in the smoke and finished. And finished. Amen. The wicked bowls and, and don't repay, but the righteous is generous in gifts. For those blessed by Yah will inherit the land. If you inherit a land, that means you're going to have some form of authority in a, in a humble way to do good in it, right? But those cursed by him, by Yeshua, by El Shaddai, will be cut off. Yah directs his path to, to its steps and the delights in his ways. And he will, he may stumble, but he won't fall headlong. For Yah holds him by the right hand. Who holds us by the right hand, really? That's Yeshua, that's El Shaddai, the coming, the, the, the authority from the Father. Amen. I have been youth and now I'm old, yet not once have I seen the righteous abandoned, the right standing abandoned. Are his descendants begging for bread? All the day long he will be generous and lend, and his descendants are blessed. If you turn from evil and do good, you will live safety forever. So if, if you wicked politicians turn from evil and do good, then you will live safely forever. For Yah loves the justice. He loves justice. And will not abandon his faithful. So he will never abandon we the people. Amen. The faithful. We should be given a, a nice little clap there. God, God's the one that gave the offer and finisher of, of the three big words, we the people, because he thinks all his children is we the people, and we all have a right to our freedoms, as long as we don't get the evil freedoms on us like they do on all of us. we got to learn from their mistakes their, that they do purposely, that we will not take our freedoms for granted and use them as a wicked way like they do. Amen. That we're going to use our freedoms as a, as a non-selfish way for the betterment of ourselves and others. Amen. And that's the true liberty of that we have. Amen. Is is within the those heart of understanding of this. Amen. And will not abandon them. His faithful, he will not abandon his faithful, we the people, and they will preserve forever, but the, the, the descendants of the wicked will be cut off. But the descendants of the wicked politicians will be cut off. Who's doing the cutting off? Does it say a man or woman or? No, God's doing it. The righteous will inherit the land, the right, right, relationship people will inherit the land and live forever the mouth of the righteous accures wisdom you got to get the wisdom of god on you the wisdom of understandings of how things work but all the wisdom the higher wisdom of god too his tongue speaks justice our tongues must speak justice and we must acquire wisdom of, of what we know the truth and, and the higher wisdom of God and then we must speak justice and the Torah of his God is in his heart the, the good teachings of God need to be in our hearts amen and the footsteps 
do not faint, that our footsteps won't faint, even though we're in a position we've never done before. And it's overwhelming at times, but God will be with us. And we'll, if we're good and we keep in the goodness of God, the others will help. Come aside and say, well, you know, maybe we could do that. And so, okay, let's try that. And it works. We all rejoice. We all have a good time. We have our barbecues like crazy all the time. And, and, we, and we break out the best drinks and we have a good time, right? The wicked keeps his eyes on the righteous, that's true, and, and, and seeks to change to kill them, but Yah will not leave him in his power, their power, amen, or let him or her be uh, confronted with their judge, judge. But you hope in Yah. Keep his ways. We got to keep his ways. But in order to know his ways, we have to have Shaddai's will, Yeshua, teaching it the ways. And then, then we got the will and we got the ways. We got righteousness on us. We got all kinds of people that are happy and they're trying to do right. And, we're, and we become a great people from all that. Because without a great people, there is no nation. Remember that. It doesn't say in the word here, but that, but I'm sure it says somewhere, but I'm not saying right here. I'm saying that came from my heart for you guys. A, 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 a nation is not a nation without a great people in it. A great people make the nation, make the government, not the few on the top that, that get there, but it's the people themselves that make the nation. Remember that with all your heart. Remember the very words that has been spoken here today. Amen. Put your hope in Yah, keep, keep to his ways, and he will raise you up in an inheritance of the land. When the wicked, then the wicked are cut off, you will see it. God says when the wicked are cut off, when the wicked politicians are finally caught, cut off, you will see it, vic, vicitations, the, the joys, rejoice in, in your heart because God will do it. He said he will do it and he will do it. These wicked politicians, these wicked people on high places that, that give very little monies to you, when you work and they and they they trick you out of your freedoms and they trick you out of, of, of being good to your family because you're so unhappy with well how your supervisor because he's a supervisor is all messed up in his head because the people on the top messed him up. So he, instead of him being stable, the supervisor puts it back down on all of you and you're all having a hard time. But God says, be good to your family. Leave, leave all that stuff in the car and burn it symbolically in your head. That family and your friends, they don't deserve that. Stop the, the abuse at the door that was given to you, and God will bless you and raise you up as to be knights of the round table of heaven. You wait and see. God will intervene for you when these things take place and when they have taken place in many places and peoples. And God sees and hears all the prayers for he said so. And the inheritance are great for his people, not little, but they want. And then the wicked are cut off and you will see it. And I, I have seen the wicked man wither great power, flourishing like the shade trees and it's a uh, natural soil. But I pass by again, and, and he or she was no longer there. A amen. I looked for him or her, but could not find them. Exert the pure person. Concern the, the upright. For the peaceful person will have prosperity. For the peaceful person will have prosperity. What the transgressors will be destroyed. But the transgressors, 
those that, want, that are doing the opposite of peace will be destroyed, God's saying here. The prosperity of the wicked will be cut off. God says he's going to cut off the prosperity of the wicked. So it's got to go somewhere, right? And what has it said before in this, this whole thought, different little thoughts of this chapter? The righteous get it. Yah is the one who saves. Yah, Sal Shua, Yahshua. Yah is the one that saves. The righteous. Are you getting it? He is their stronghold in the times of trouble. Yah helps them, rescues them, rescues them from the wicked and saves them. Yahshua. Because they take refuge in El Shaddai. And him, after thought of the Father God, is what is in him. El Shaddai, which is in the New Testament, is called Yeshua. They are the same. And that's why he, Yeshua says the statement that he's always been. Well, if he's always been, then he has another name he must have went with. In the Old Testament, it sure is. It's El Shaddai. Uh, but the only thing is about this, when we translate it, you got to remember it's left to right, not right to left. And so, I mean, rightfully, it, you translate Al Shaddai as the mighty one of God. But it, the mighty God, he is the mighty God because he's part of God. But really, you got to understand it, it's the mighty one of God. He sends his own mightiness out of him. Yeah, and that's Yeshua, that's Al Shaddai. And it's his will that he does these things. It's his will that, that the righteous should prosper. But don't get carried away on always wanting wealth. When there's many other tools in the in the, the tool belt, okay? Any carpenter, anybody who has tool belts will tell you, they don't focus on the hammer all day, okay? Now the hammer represents money, okay? But how about all the other tools? They get you the job done. The, the carpenters, the mud workers, everybody. A lot of people have tool belts. Have. You know, sometimes they have electronics in their tool belts too now. For those kind of people that repair those type things. But what do you have in your tool belt? If you're going to just focus on the tool of the hammer, hammering things, you're going to damage some things in life. But if you understand that that's only one of the tools within the tool belt, there's many things in there. And prosperity, friendships, that, that's one of the tools. I mean, sometimes you need a friend helping out with something, right? That's a tool. That's, a, that's prosperity when you have a good friend. Prosperity when, when you have a place to live. When you have a, when you have a, a car, when you have a truck, when you have a... A, a, a cell phone, that's prosperity. We need to start thinking of prosperity more than this the flat money. You have a crop and you got some things growing in there, that's prosperity. We got to think of prosperity in its fullness, not in just one thing. This is why a lot of us are unhealthy. Even the, the, the ones that are on the top that have a lot of money, they're not happy either. Because they just focus on the one tool. You know what? You never get anything done. If you're a carpenter, you're a tradesperson that goes and helps with the wiring and all that, and you just use a hammer all the time, you're gonna mess. You're gonna mess up people's world real quick. You know. And honestly, that that's that's only one of them. So I, you gotta understand this. You gotta take heart on this. Prosperity is many dimensional. It's 3D, has so many things in it. Don't take for granted the prosperity you have. Why would you think he would give you the, the, the physical money prosper, gold and silver, when you don't even understand the prosperity you already have and the things around you? That's something to think and, and desire in a good way on that, isn't it? All right, so let's go on now. The Proverbs, Micheline, uh, Micheline, 16, 1 through 9, 1 through 9 of 16 of Proverbs. 
Amen. So that's where we're headed. Amen. That's exactly where we're headed. Amen. So let's go over there. All right. And it says, a person is responsible to prepare his heart. So what we're going to do, we're going to prepare our hearts, right? We're going to, you know, get our hearts in the right way, right? But how the tongue speaks is from Yah. All a man and woman's ways are pure in its own view. In our view, we, we think that way. But Yah waits the spirit. But God goes beyond the physical into the real us, the spirit. And, you know, it twinkles down to the soul, you know, as we know. But if you entrust all you do to Yah, if you trust all that you do to, to mean desire, and, and that you, what you do, you're trusting in that God's going to help you do it in your best abilities. All the onion layers here, amen, that we got to understand. Your plans will achieve success. Yah makes everything for his purpose. He makes us for his purpose. So stop allowing the devil to whisper in your ear, say you're junk. You whisper back in his ear and say, you know what? I'm going to get my brothers and sisters together. We're going to game bang your devil in the corner over there. So get lost. Amen. That's what you tell the devil. Get out of my affair. I'm going to be exactly the best I can be for my fellow brothers and sisters across this world and for God Almighty. And that's a great attitude and desire to have. That every man, woman, and child should have. Be it. Be assured that they will not go unpunished. Those that do wrong will not go unpunished. Grace and truth atone for iniquity. What atones for iniquity? Grace and truth. That's salvation. Grace and truth equals what? Come on. Alphamatic, alphamatic math here. Words with another word equals to the substance of the final word, which is Salvation. Grace and truth atones for inequity. Grace plus truth equals a final answer and alpha mathematics, which is salvation. Salvation. I, 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 uh, people turn from evil through the reverency of God. We turn from evil through having reverency of God, that he is the all-powerful and he's got the answers, and we don't all the time. Most of the time we don't, but he, he gives us the answers in the first place. And and, and uh, other people help, and, and we become great. Amen. And when a man and our woman's ways please, yeah, and that's what we want to do. We want to be pleasing in his ways that he's given us through the will that equals into the fraction of the final answer of ways. And he makes even the men and women's enemies be at peace with him or her. Amen. That's wonderful right there. We can use a little of that extra, can't we? Some of these wicked leaders, you know, buff, God needs to buffle their minds or something and give a little extra stimulus check. Can I hear an amen? Better a little with the righteous than a than a huge income of injustice. It's better for us to have a little bit of an income and be a righteous man or woman of awesomeness than being a wicked, miser, evil, disgusting person and, and have that injustice going on, right? That's what it's saying there. A person may plan his plan. But Yah directs his step. Remember, we might plan our plans, but God wants to gives us the right steps within those plans. You understand that? That's wonderful. That's something that a lot of you need to take hold on. God, we might plan our ways, you know, and they're good things and we want to do good. But God wants to direct those steps within those plans. They'll make it great. Because God makes us great, remember. He doesn't leave us just with good. He wants us great. And then what happens after great? 
excellence. Good, great, excellent. Don't worry, we'll all get the excellent state. But we got we got to start where we're we're starting with good, the goodness of God He's given us. So then then He makes that great, and then He makes it excellent. It's where this that's the steps of excellence. But we got to be faithful and show that we really will go into that goodness. And, we, and when we get that greatness, and we're going to keep on being great, and then we're going to be excellent because that's what God's goal is for our lives. Is excellence. And when you're in excellence, well, you know, there's a lot of neat things happen there, as you know. We don't got all day to explain what excellence can be, but we can figure that out for ourselves, can't we? Let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 5, 9 through 10. 9 through 10 of 5 of 2 Corinthians. That's why some of these football players, they're good, and then there's other ones that are great because they work at it. And then there's some that are very few that are excellent. And those are the ones everybody wants to buy because they're excellent, right? And that's exactly what he's doing with us. He's, he's going to get us to the excellence. So let us be faithful with what we have. And then he make us faithful in greater things. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, where, uh, whether at home or away from home, we try our utmost to please Shaddai, our, our Yeshua, him. That's Yeshua. I should have just put Yeshua there. But they figured, they figured in the, the understanding of language that we would understand when you say him, it's talking about Yeshua, El Shaddai, amen. It's talking about Yeshua right there. But they figured he would know, and a lot of people have lost some of that, the knowing of it. Don't be, don't be upset. Just try to figure those things out a little bit better. Through Yeshua helping us, amen? But yeah, that please him, that's Yeshua, that's Jesus. For we must all appear, therefore, to who? The Messiah. It makes it identifying, identifies what that him is later. So we look for that as well. For we must all appear before the Messiah's court judgment. There, everyone will receive a good or bad report of what he or she did when he was in the physical body. Amen. All give account for what we've done. So what we should be doing is designed to do God's will and doing our best for our brothers and sisters. You got to stop looking at the color, the, the flavors, and all the wonders that we all have, and that's wonderful. But we got to see that we're all human beings, and we're all in it together, and we're going to do it. We're going to be we're going to be wonderful. And, and we're going to do wonderful things as we desire to do good things, right? So let's go on now to Job again, Iver, chapter 8, 20 through 22. And then we're going to, it's going to go right into the next chapter of 9, 1 through 4. Really, it's all one thought, okay? And you got to look for these things when these things happen, where some of the thoughts are over there and they, they go right into the next chapter of and it's still the same thought, but they got separated. Sad, but true. But we got it. that's why you study thyself to be approved by God. You look for those things. Because you love God, right? You love God's word. So you're going to honor God's word. So you can get the fullness of God's word in you. The hope of glory in you. And you're going to succeed whatever you do. Because it says that in the word. We go by the word. Word warriors. Wood warriors, amen. Wood warriors that go forth in God's glory, amen. And might, don't forget the might part of Yeshua and the, and the glory of, of the Father God. And together they help us and, and equip us in all things. Okay, it says, look, Yah will not reject the blameless man or woman, for nor will he, he uphold the wrongdoer. Nor you uphold the wrongdoer. Amen. 
He will yet fill your mouth with laughter. He wants to put some laughter in there. That's that's amazing. God cares enough to bring some laughter there. Isn't that something? And your lips shouts of joy. Shouts of joy. You know, you know, you're just having a good time. And those who hate you will be clothed in shame. And the tents of the wicked will cease to exist. Amen. And then it goes on. What's really of, of two to four. Yeah, on that, on that, on that nine continuation. Because it's just then Ivor responded. Indeed, I know that this is so. How can a human being win the case against God? Whoever might want to argue with him. El Shaddai Yeshua could not answer El Shaddai Yeshua one question in a thousand. Who can resist him and secede? So we don't need to resist what God's great will. We need to desire those things. And then we need those desires that are good, doing good for your fellow mankind, womankind. And, and all the other things within that, designed to do good, designed that, that, to go to greatness and then excellence and desiring everything God has for our life to do great things for our fellow brothers and sisters. It triggers that way, always does. Amen. Let's go to the last scripture. First, Yokima, all of Yokima, First John 3, 19 through 22. 19 through 22 of 1 John. I hope you're getting excited. There's no reason why you shouldn't. This Our desires is like a football play. And, you, and you've got all these plays you can do with it. But we got the path of the play is designed in the hands of Yeshua. And whatever the play is, we follow it and we win the football team match, right? And we become Super Bowl party. And we, we show them what a real Super Bowl party is, right? Amen. Okay. Here is how we will know that we are from the truth and will and will. Truth, underline truth, underline will. That's Yeshua. Um, truth and will. Truth and will. Desires. You know, like gears. You know, well oiled by truth and will. And he is, here is how we will know that we are from the truth and will set in our hearts at, at the rest of his presence. Presence is Shekinah. That's Yeshua. He's the Shekinah of God, the spouse and Mary. If our hearts know something against us. God is greater than our hearts. Amen. Our desires. Remember, the play is in the hands of the Father, God, the Skipper. Right? And and he knows everything. He knows everything. He knows what plays in, in our life we need to do to get the touchdown every day. Amen. Dear friends. If our hearts know nothing against us, we have confidence in uh, the appearance of you. And then whatever we ask for, we receive from him after thought of God, the Father, is Yeshua. Amen. And so it's Yeshua here. Amen. Then whatever we ask for, we will receive from Yeshua. Jesus, because we are obeying his commandments and doing things that please him, to please Yeshua. Are we doing things to please Yeshua? And are we following the commandments of God? We know the will, the ways are more understandable. Amen. The wills and the ways of God and the spirit of God. Amen. So we're complete as a person, as a human being, a demic race from Adam and Eve through knowing that the desires that we must have 
must be motivated by the plans of God, by the greatness that God has for us, and we will reach excellence someday. We will be that prize football player that everybody wants someday. We will become that very artist that everybody wants. We will become that great elegant of understanding of words that bring health and wealth to others. We will become that very hands-on person that makes it better for all others. Amen. The desires equals what becomes in your life. Amen. God bless you. God loves you and wants you to be fullness of his glory in you. The desires of good things for yourself and others. Now some of you are not born again yet. And a lot of you are born again but not spirit filled with Yeshua like you should have. That's all right. Let's get it taken care of right now. Let's get the double down play and get the touchdown all in one right now. Pray this prayer. Dear God, yeah, I ask you to my spirit, soul, and body, O oh, Father God, as Father and King and Savior. We thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for obeying the Father, coming down in an earth suit over 2,000 years ago, but and and living a perfect life, and then dying on the cross, fulfilling all the, the things that need to be fulfilled so that we do not have to live in the old nature anymore, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, of wickedness, but now we can live in your nature, Yeshua, the tree of life, and we can have the Ark of the Covenant in us, the hope of glory, and we can eat freely, symbolically, of your tree, the tree of life, Yeshua. And we love you, and you're the ways, you're the will, I'm sorry, that brings us to the ways of God the ways of our Father, who wants to be Father to us. And so we thank you and praise you for what you did on the cross, Yeshua. Amen. Now I pray for that to be spirit filled with full of, you, of your glory, Yeshua, today. Spirit, Yeshua, I pray that you be fullness in them, that they be full of, they'll be the wise versions today because they're going to take not only being born again, but they're going to be spirit filled with you, Yeshua. So they're going to be ready in season and out of season and really into real season right now. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you. I bless them in the name of Yeshua. Amen. God bless. God loves you. God has a plan for you. Plan for life and a wealth of, of good desires that make great things happen. God is raising up an excellent people. It has desires that change the world for the good and not allow the wicked to just have their way. But you, each of you, rope your hands like John F. Kennedy always said. And don't think of what your nation could do for you. Think of what you can do for your committee, for your county, for your straight corners, for your homes. For your churches and synagogues, parishes for all the world. And make it a better place, one step at a time. One step for all mankind and one desire for all the earth. And the humble, humble hearts to the our Creator, God Almighty. And Yeshua brings life, the life abundantly to us, the hope of glory. God bless. Keep in there. Keep in there. The day of judgment is right around the corner for these wicked politicians. Unless they repent, the greatness of God will, will show what they've done and they won't escape and the authorities will arrest them all. It's time. Prepare your hearts. U.S. Marshals, get right with the king of glory because God's going to use you to arrest many of these politicians. So, to get your hearts right, people of authority that will arrest these politicians, not only in America and in Canada, but all around the world. The day of days are here. And the days that are here 
are here for a reason. And he's, and he's showcasing that there are wicked politicians in your governments. Remember, the, the government is not a government without we the people. They can lie, they can cheat, they can steal that away from you, but you know that it's true. The, the government is not a government without the people. The great people of that of that nation makes the government, not the people that you put in or that are cheat that get in, but the people, we the people of every nation, we the people. They're the nation. And you must desire good, and therefore good will come about that. When you desire wicked things like they do, all it is is evil. But we, the people, must desire to do righteous things. Have Yeshua, the skipper of your heart, and give you the best plays. And you get the touchdown every day. And you don't stop until you win the ball game, win the football game, win the tennis match. Amen. God bless you. Shalom to you forevermore. Be at peace, shalom, wholeness. It brings us the peace. Be with you. Now the seven unbroken, complete peace, controlty, serenity, shalom.